Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the SiteMate links feature in Dash Pivot to allow anyone to submit a job safety analysis or JSA into your Dash Pivot account, but without that person needing a Dash Pivot user login. So they won't actually be a Dash Pivot user. Instead, they'll actually use the SiteMate app to submit the JSA records into your Dash Pivot account. So this actually works well if you've got like quite a large workforce. Um, not everyone in your workforce will need a full Dash Pivot user license. Uh, instead, there's a more cost-effective way to collect that information using the SiteMate app. And that's what I wanna run through with you uh, in this video today. We're going to look at how we can set up that SiteMate link. We're gonna look at how we can distribute that to the relevant people um, so that they can start to submit those JSAs from the SiteMate app back into your Dash Pivot account. We're also gonna take a look at what it actually looks like from their perspective in the SiteMate app as they fill that out and submit that back into Dash Pivot. Um, so let's get started. Here we are on the Dash Pivot website and probably the first thing we need to make sure of is that we're in the folder where we want all of our JSA records to get submitted into. So in this case, it's this site team folder. So I've clicked on that one, gone to the template section and we already have a JSA template set up. Um, so we're pretty much good to go. If we click on the links tab, you can see that we have two options. So we've got single and then ongoing. In this case, for something like a JSA, if the personnel uh, at your company are going to be filling out that JSA on a regular basis, either every job that they go to or every day or once a week or something like that, you're going to want to set, it, set up this link as what we call an ongoing submission sitemate link. Uh, what this means is that when someone clicks on this link or scans this QR code poster and they gain access to that JSA, it's going to remain inside of their SiteMate account. So they can fill those JSAs out at any time. They don't have to re-click the link or anything like that. It's much more convenient. Just keep in mind that it is a paid feature. Uh, so uh, while uh, the, the users who access these ongoing submission SiteMate links will not be Dash Pivot users and will not bear the full cost of a Dash Pivot user license, they are still going to be a paid SiteMate form user. Uh, and we'll take a look at what that looks like and where to manage those users a bit later in this video. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Um, so all that we need to do is click this create link button and give our link a name. I'm just gonna call it job safety analysis, JSA. And we need to select our template. So in this case, uh, it's the JSA that we have here. You can select multiple templates, but for the purposes of this video, uh, we're just gonna select the one and click the generate link button down at the bottom. So you can see it tells us that the link generation has been successful and it shows us what the two options are to distribute this link uh, to get our workers or our personnel to start to fill out these JSAs and submit them back into Dash Pivot. So the first option is to simply just copy that link and then put that link in an email or an SMS and send it to the relevant person. When they click that link, it'll open up the SiteMate app and they'll gain access to start submitting JSAs. This option works really well when you know exactly who it is who's going to need access to fill out those JSAs. If you don't know exactly who's going to be filling them out, uh, I'd recommend using the QR code poster, which is this option on the right. Uh, what it does is it's going to generate a QR code uh, on a poster, which we can then stick on the site wall or at our office. And when someone scans that QR code, and here's what it looks like, uh, when someone scans this QR code, it acts, it, it behaves in the same way as if someone had just clicked on the link. So it's just a shortcut uh, to access that link. And then uh, by following these steps that you can see on the poster, that person will gain access to start submitting those JSAs uh, via the SiteMate app. And you can see the poster looks nice and professional. It's got your logo up the top. Uh, it's got the name of the link, the QR code that's nice and big, so it's easy to scan, some instructions, and then some info about the app stores and where exactly in Dash Pivot this information will get submitted to. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Um, I actually have one here that I've prepared earlier, which we're going to use as an example. Um, but from the Dash Pivot user's perspective, we can now click done. We can see our link is here. We can copy that link and send it out. We've also got shortcuts to download the poster or edit this link if we needed to change something and then archive if you know, at some stage we decide that we don't want anyone to be able to sub submit these JSAs anymore. We can just archive that link. 
So great, that's pretty much all that we need to do. Now we're going to switch over to what it looks like from the SiteMate user's perspective. So the person who's gonna fill out that JSA. So here we have the phone. Uh, so I've got it hooked up to the computer. We're just gonna click on this camera button and we're going to t uh, basically just scan the, uh, the poster. You can see it recognizes the QR code. It gives us the link up the top. So I'm gonna tap that link and it opens up a site where it shows us what we just scanned. So it's the JSA. We can see that it's prompting us to install the app and it shows us a code. Now we're actually gonna need that code. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the app. In my case, I actually already have it installed. So for me, it's easy. I just click open and we can see here's my profile. So in the SiteMate app, we just need to go to the forms section because the JSA, it's a form that we're submitting. Click the add forms button and then it prompts us for that link. And so that's what we need to paste in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, paste in that link that we just copied back from the browser, click Submit, and you can see it's now added the JSA into our SiteMate app. So you can see it's also denoted as an ongoing submission. So we can, in other words, we can uh, submit this JSA form multiple times. Um, so let's go ahead and just do an example. I'm gonna click Add and it pulls up the form so we can start to fill that out. You know, we could put in the project address. You know, we can put in the contact person's details and fill out this table. Uh, we've got, you know, date fields, we've got work activity, location, etc. Just like any other form that you might have in Dash Pivot, you've got all the different fields, we've got images, etc. We've got a table for adding in all of the job steps and the details about the hazards and risks. And then we have a signature field down the bottom where we click and uh, sign. So I'm not going to fill out everything. I think you get the idea. You just go ahead and fill everything out. And then once we're happy with that, from the worker's perspective, all they need to do is click submit. And basically it's uploading and it's now submitted. This is in the activity tab in the SiteMate app. So this is basically all the uh, all of the uh, forms that we've submitted via these SiteMate links uh, in the past. And the most recent one is our JSA template. So you can see that there. So now that we've done that, uh, if we head back into Dash Pivot, and here we are with our JSA, let's just refresh the page and we should see our JSA form. So here we are. This is the one that we just submitted uh, from the SiteMate app. Now, if you're in Dash Pivot, you can now access uh, that record, open it up, see all of the information that is being filled out, um, the signatures and everything like that. So Pretty neat. And then over time, anyone who's submitting those JSAs, uh, anyone from your workforce who's clicked on that link and is submitting them, they're all going to show up here and uh, you'll be able to manage everything in this register view. I did mention earlier that uh, these SiteMate form users who have access to uh, these ongoing uh, submission SiteMate links, um, those people are paid users. They're not Dash Pivot users, but they are paid users. The place that you'll manage them is in the users section. Um, under SiteMate users, uh, we have a section called form users. And you can see there that uh, my name is there or my profile is added in there. So anyone who's accessed that JSA template uh, is going to show up here. Um, if we don't want that person to be able to submit them anymore, we can just click the delete button and remove their access. And then if we head back into the app and go back to the forms tab, you can see it's now disappeared. So we can't actually fill that out anymore. So I just wanted to show you how that works. Um, it is a paid feature, so just be aware of that. Um, so that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any questions or you get stuck setting up any of these things, uh, please reach out to our uh, team via live chat on the Dash Pivot website. We also have other um, videos and articles explaining how you can use SiteMate links for other use cases. Um, so things like timesheets or inductions or pre-starts. Uh, room completion sign-offs, things like that. Uh, we've got videos on all of those use cases. Feel free to check those out. And we also have other videos just covering other areas of Dash Pivot across, you know, photos, templates, analytics, etc. cetera. Um, so give those a watch uh, if you're interested. And that wraps up this video. So I hope this will be really useful for you uh, with your JSAs. And thanks for watching.